Hey guys, it's uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? So it's been, I think, like two months since my last real video and a month since my last video in general on YouTube. So today I wanted to make a video explaining why both of those things happened. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a longer video. So if you just want a TLDR, I think I'm back. I want to make this video and kind of see the response I get from this video to for sure say if I'm back or not. And also, if I say that I'm back, that does mean that Yes, I would be doing Trove videos. If I'm back, I'm back to doing Trove. I'm still going to do other videos, guys, but, you know, the main focus will be Trove because I understand that is why most people are here. I'll just try to diversify as we go along through the however long it takes to, uh, you know, become a more variety uh, gamer. But uh, for the most part, yes, TLDR, I might be back. We will see tomorrow, next week. I don't know. Depends. I want to see the response, and I want a decent response before I, you know, before I make my decision. But, um, yeah, to explain why they happened, let's just go in chronological order. And the first thing that happened, obviously, was that I quit Trove. And I never said why I quit Trove. I just quit Trove and I continued making videos. I actually made more videos than I had ever made, like, in a full month. I think I made, like, 60 videos, uh, in the last month that I did YouTube. But, you know, obviously, since most of you are here for Trove, most of you probably didn't even realize that. Uh, and you thought that I just quit YouTube, uh, even though I was uploading long, more than I ever have ever. Um, so the reason why, and again, it's been a while since I made a video, so there's going to be a lot of ums, buts, likes, you know, things that don't contribute to the conversation. I just got to get used to public speaking again. But yes, back to the topic. I quit Trove simply because I was just bored of it. I have been playing the game since day one alpha, so there's literally no way anybody could have been playing before me. You could only be playing either the exact same time that I started, or you could have started after me. And there's very, very little people that have been playing since the day that I started. Maybe even like a point of a per you know, a thousandth of a percentage of players. You know, I know basically like three or four people that have been playing as long as I have. So as you can tell, I've spent a lot of time in the game. I have like 2000 hours on Steam alone and there is zero idling time. When I play games, I don't just sit there with the client open. You know, I'm play. I don't like wasting time. You guys know me. I'm all about time, time, time because Time is everything to me. Uh, you know, if I am being inefficient, that means I'm wasting time, which means I'm playing less content, or I'm making less money, or, you know, I'm spending less time with actual people. You know, those little seconds that add up over a year could be an entire movie that you can go see, you know? So time is everything to me. Um, so those were 2,000 hours just on Steam. There was two years before it was even out on Steam. So I have thousands and thousands and thousands of hours in the game so as you could tell i got pretty bored when i'm pretty much done with everything i even got ganda i i even unboxed a gun i've been playing so long that i have the chance to unbox a conda and a fortress and you know sure i'm I could be, you know, getting more mastery points, but that's it. Like, it's just a mastery chase, and they keep adding more and more mounts every week that, you know, it just makes it not fun. Uh, I think that the content that they add to the game isn't real content. Like, it's cool that you guys upload stuff from the community, and that's a very big aspect of Trove. But you gotta do something that's not just mounts and stuff, because that only inflates the economy, which makes flipping boring, and that, you know, that ruined one of my most popular series I've ever had on my channel. Every single week, my flipping videos would get like 50,000 plus views a week on that one video. Like, that's insane. That's more than, you know, Scythe gets uh, each week on all of his Trove videos combined, you know? And that was just one of my videos. Well, probably, he probably has a lot more views now, and I'm not trying to down talk anybody, by the way. I'm just trying to like compare like that's the comparison like that was a huge huge push on my channel and they just they kind of ruined it by inflating the market with so many mounts and so many wings and so many high priced items that you know the the value of flux just became inflated <laughs> like that's basically all you can say is it got inflated so you know that ruined a huge portion of not only my channel, but just my enjoyment the reason why I'm the only youtuber to or even just the only person that really you know shown how to flip was because I love economics. That is, you know, that is who I am. I am an economics person. I'm a numbers person. Um, not a lot of people are. So that's why, you know, it was very fun to me. Like I made the 
I like I created the series, you know, I didn't get the series from anybody else. I created it because I had fun with it and I wanted to show people how to do it. And it just so happened to literally explode on my channel, even after the game had died so immensely. Like this is with a population of like 6,000 concurrent players. It exploded even after all that. So, you know, it was, you know, that was very, you know, poor. It left a bad taste in my mouth that they, you know, they call content mounts. Like I said, it's cool that you're uploading community content, but you also have to improve the game. You have to add stuff to the game. The most we've gotten has been gems. Um, I know we're getting more content next year, but, you know, it's been over half a year since we got our last content. Like, you can't wait you can't do yearly content and expect people even a veteran as myself that has spent hundreds of dollars that has a huge like community backing me up making me want to play the game and all like i have so much going for me and even i got bored of the constant mounts 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 i've never seen so many mounts in any other game <laughs> ever um so you know if the devs are listening that's one of the reasons why I quit your game. This I am a very like prominent figure in your community and you know it caused me to quit the game. And again, not to, you know, try to sound anywhere above anybody. I'm an equal as much as anybody else, but that's just my personal, you know, experience with the game and why one of your consumers has quit it. Um also, you know, that was just one little piece of the pie. You know, there's also the frustration of all the bugs and trying to record videos and not have buggy, you know, when I record a, a class video it's horrible like so horrible to try to upload a, a class guide because there's so many bugs with so many classes like sometimes you can't even use your right click if i use my right click on my dino tamer or my ultimate or you know my number one sometimes they don't even work so i have to wait 40 seconds and then try again if it doesn't work again i have to wait 40 seconds and then try again just to get five seconds of footage you know, it should work the first time. Um, so, you know, that, you know, that's very frustrating, especially as a content creator, even just as a normal player, just running around trying to play a Dino Tamer is horrible. So horrible trying to play a Dino Tamer. It is literally my my least favorite class because it's so, so buggy. Um, you know, uh, as, along with the Boom Ranger, I loved the Boom Ranger until they broke him, you know, back when they made Shadow Towers. He was amazing until they made Shadow Towers and they broke him and they never fixed him. It's been almost a year. Um, it actually has been over a year now because they came out in, I think, September of uh, 2015. So, you know, it's been a long time and that class is still broken and I cannot play him because of that. Um, also, just the servers being unstable, a huge you know, factor on why these classes are so buggy is that because the servers are so unstable. You know, there's a lot of desync, there's a lot of lag. So when you throw your boomerang, you'll catch it, but to the server, you didn't catch it because you're somewhere in, you know, you're on the other side of the China wall when I'm living in America. You know, like that's where your boomerang is. And that's where the server thinks that you are when you're all the way across the world on the other side of the entire planet. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of issues there. And then also, there, you know, there's that little pay to win aspect of it. I don't want to go too far into that because there's going to be debates. Like, honestly, it doesn't matter if it has anything that you know, pay to pay to skip, pay to progress. If I could pay to progress an entire year's worth of content, I'm going to call it pay to win. So, you know, there's that pay, there's, there's that little aspect, you know, all of that accumulated to me wanting to quit the game. Um, like I said, even with a very awesome and very, you know, prominent community in the Trove community. And, you know, you guys are always encouraging me. Like you guys are what kept me going for almost two years straight. If I didn't have you guys, I probably would have quit a long time ago. But, you know, there was that boiling point where I was just like, I can't do this anymore. It was so frustrating to make the class guides. It was probably the class guides I made me quit because if you guys seen, that was the last type of guide I ever made was, you know, I think the Tomb Raider class guide. Because the next class, uh, or maybe it was the Boom Ranger, I don't remember. But, you know, the next class, I was like, I just, I can't do this anymore. Um, so, you know, that that's what caused me to quit. And then I started uploading my old Dark Souls videos that I had recorded a long time ago. And I hadn't even said that I quit Trove yet. Like, it would just be some game, some new game that I brought to my channel. And already after, like, three days of me uploading Dark Souls videos, I was getting a lot of hate. And I think it's just because there's a lot of new people on the channel. You know, if I never even quit, I would be well over 16,000 subscribers by now because that's how well, uh, how fast we were growing. Like, I'd be nearing 17k right now if I just didn't stop playing Trove. So, you know, I was I was growing pretty frequently or pretty 
quickly so I can see that you know maybe some new people came over to the channel subscribed and then they all of a sudden didn't get trove when they just barely subscribed for trove so I can see maybe some newer people but those videos were getting a lot of dislikes and I hadn't even said that I quit trove yet people just assumed immediately just because I didn't upload a trove video that I had quit tr uh, trove which I did that was truthful but I just never said it um, and the way that I guess people on the on YouTube show that they don't like that is by mass disliking your video uh, and your videos. If you look at my last video, it has twice as many dislikes as it does likes just because I personally quit Trove and they didn't like that. And hopefully by now, you know, it's been about a month and they've all left their nasty comments on that video. So hopefully we've weeded out, you know, that little bunch of entitled people. But, you know, that is ultimately what caused me to stop uploading altogether because I was already done with Trove. I wasn't going to upload Trove no matter, you know, how many people disliked my videos and how many people were calling me names in the comments just because I stopped playing Trove. Like, I know the the Trove community is a little younger, so I can understand, you know, the immaturity there. And like I said, hopefully those that group of people is gone. I know none of you guys that are still here would probably be anyone in that group. Um, and if you are, don't be as entitled like as you think you are on the internet. You know, you're not entitled to anything. But anyway, <laughs> to not go too far into that. So I was getting a lot of hate just because I wasn't playing a game that a certain amount of people wanted to see. So instead of getting hate and playing a game that I loved, I could just play the game that I love and not get the hate, which is, you know, what ultimately led me to not upload uh, videos at all anymore because, you know, I could just, if I just didn't press record, I can still play the game and enjoy it and not deal with, you know, the 12 year old people that are saying like, I unsubscribed from you and you deserve it because you're not uploading Trove anymore. You know what I mean? So like, it's uh, that's just kind of like the culmination of me quitting Trove and then uh, for some reason getting backlash because I decided to not play a game anymore. Um, ultimately caused me to just not upload Trove or uh, videos at all anymore. Uh, and you know, even all of that put together, I still kind of want to come back just because I have taken that break. I've even like taken like a, just a, a, a kind of a huge break from the internet altogether over the past month. Like I've unsubscribed from literally everybody. I'm not subscribed to a single channel on YouTube, literally a single channel on YouTube. Um, because like that was just even just watching other people's videos was kind of like it was a little stressful, you know, and, and then that reflects your videos and stuff like that. So I, I just, you know, I've been taking a break from the internet, unsubscribed from everybody. I've just been playing games. Games. I used to watch a little bit of Twitch. Like I like watching Lyric because he's pretty funny. Um, so and I like getting like a little bit of information on new games and stuff like that. So you know I, that's basically all I've been doing. I've just been watching Lyric on my second monitor and I've been playing games on my main monitor, having fun. Um, and since I've been doing that, you know I've I've enjoyed games a lot more, and that's made me want to go back to Trove because I do miss it. It's been a huge part of the past two years of my life. Um, probably, I mean, arguably the biggest part of my life, I guess, as if you want to say like an accomplishment, like having, you know, 3 million people watch you and, you know, thousands of subscribers, thousands of daily viewers, you know, that's, that's not, that's not easy to get even people with like 100k subscribers. Plus, you know, you see them barely getting like 3k to 15k views uh, a video and I'm getting that at 13k without doing giveaways or anything to like whore myself out if you know if you know what I mean so like you know we're we're do we're an amazing channel and I am so grateful for it so that's why I want to come back um, I don't really want to watch everything that I just did for the past few years kind of crumble away uh, I'm surprised that I've only gained subscribers I mean yeah I lost the potential like i would be nearing 17k right now i'd be like 16.5k i think it is uh was my roadmap um so you know sure i lost that potential 3,000 subscribers but i only gained the number that's on my channel uh, i never lost any um obviously i lost some but i gained more than i lost so it's a it's a it's a gain um so you know I just, I don't know, I just want to come back, I want to try it out, like I said, I want to see your guys' response as well on this video, uh, to see if, you know, that's something that I want to do, um, so leave me your feedback down below, I don't know what I'm asking from you, for, like, I don't know what I'm asking you to put down, uh, just let me know, like, have you quit the game, what was your reasonings for quit the game, did you enjoy the content that I was creating when it came to Trove, um, do you want to, you, you can leave suggestions on content that you would like to see from me, you know, 
in the in the hate that I was getting, I was also getting positive comments. You know, people saying like, "I'm the only real YouTuber that people trust because I don't do the giveaways. I don't make a Neon Ninja guide when I've never played the Neon Ninja before." You know who I'm talking about. Uh, so you know, people. I know people enjoyed the content. I was getting obviously like when you get views, getting views isn't a negative thing. That means people like what you're doing and you know want to watch what you're doing. Uh, especially when you don't do giveaways, it's literally they're there. For the sole reason of the video and its contents um so you know i understand that you know maybe people got a little upset when i left uh, and that's when i want to come back so leave me just i guess anything tell me how your date was i don't know <laughs> uh just leave me some feedback down below and yeah hopefully you guys are excited to have me back i am and i will see you guys next time